How's it? Hang loose. Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the channel. Okay. Hey, how's it going? It's uh, Sunday. Hold the moon. It's Sunday, June 16th. It's Father's Day. Father's Day. Oh, jeez. Yeah, my father has um, been gone for 10 years now. Decade. And um, peacefully in his sleep. In the house. <laughs> uh, emphysema. Of the ripe old age. No, he was a good guy, actually. He was uh, very... Uh, he was very much into the decency. He raised six kids. Am I dead? With my mom. Am I dead? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> he raised six kids with my mom, so he had a lot of like father experience. You just call him dad. If we don't, but uh, he had a lot of father experience with six kids. Imagine all that sibling rivalry and trying to be fair for everybody and all that kind of thing. Um, and it, uh, uh, he, uh, just doing this little quick, uh, you know, what was your, what was your dad like to Be you? Careful. Hope it's a good memory. Uh, and, um, and so he, uh, I think one of the, <laughs> he's like not swearing, Disney, rated G, all that wholesome kind of Down. vibe. And he actually did enjoy that kind of aspect of wholesome not swearing and stuff like that but I just want to mention one aspect was he was kind of very quiet in a lot of ways he would you know the kids running around adults even as adults due to all this stuff going on my mom didn't busy and he'd be sitting there like at the end of the dinner table you know there's a dining room table I hear you very kind of laconic not saying much you know like taking, observing, taking it all in. Maybe just pride, taking it. But unless it was like, <laughs> you almost have to approach him to speak first to say something. Anyways, and his father, my grandfather on my father's side, was even more like that. He was a fireman in Chicago when they had wooden spoke wheels on the fire engines. <laughs> and I remember Grandpa defeat. They were going Archie. His name was Archibald Archie. So, um, I remember we would visit once in a while, and we're over there visiting. He had a little pet bird called uh, Smokey. It was a parakeet. Not a parakeet. Um, it was a mina bird. It was a mina bird named Smokey in this cage, and it was in the kitchen. Every once in a while, I was disgusted. It was gone. So, I remember my grandfather, I mean, he looked like young, stern. And he said nothing, so it was kind of a little scary going over there. Grandpa, oh my gosh. But when they had this little, like, eating at the little small dining room table, and the bird would say, you just go, quiet! And the bird would be quiet like that. Otherwise, it would squawk. I don't know, just that sort of, I don't know, ways of people being raised. I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna do old and happy Father's Day. Anyway, <laughs> thinking of Father's Day. We're gonna do a little old and new because oh gosh, there's so much stuff in the world. Speaking of the the hour father. Oh, let's do this right here. In nominus dia patre filini spiritus sancti. Venus Psychic. Venus sancti spiritus. <laughs> Psychic. Venus sancti spiritus. Venus sancti spiritus. Venus sancti spiritus. Random out of the old. This is a random pick out of the old. So, random out of the old. Random out of the new. No comment. Okay, old. Oh, and light, right? Ouch. Old. Samuel. First Samuel, chapter 26. Him, I'm on 21. 26, 21. Then Saul said, I have done wrong. Come back, my son David, for I will never harm you again, because my life was precious in your sight today. I have been a fool. I have made a great mistake. And David replied, Here is a spear, O king. Let one of the young men come over and get it. 
you got it. <laughs> uh, no, with a little bit of rubric, hopefully. John, plenty of rubric here. This is uh, John. Stop recording. No, John 16, um, 25. Peace for the disciples. I have said. Angry. I have said these things to you in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you plainly of the Father. On that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me, and I have believed that I came from the Father, from God. I came from the Father, and I have come into the world again. I am leaving the world, and I am going to the Father. <laughs> See that that Bible, you know, it, it, it says father things. Oh, no comment. Okay, so what's in the news? Um, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff. It's like election stuff. Um, the King uh, King Charles the Third and uh, Prince of Wales' wife, Kate. They're like making cancer appearances. It's the first time in public since the cancer because it's important uh, ceremonious thing. So they're all riding in the carriages and everything in England. Um, over here, it's the major south swell. It's been breaking surf south swell. And um, just, I don't know. Tourists are getting arrested. Uh, not arrested. <laughs> rescued. Left and right. There's like rescues and rescues and rescues and rescues. I went to the beach. I mean, I walked around a little bit. I looked. It was like, wasn't that impressive to me? But apparently, I was just getting rescued left and right, going into the surf. But Hawaii's got news. Look at this. That's right. Evolution. Yes. Let's see what it says in the paper. To the news. Hawaii. Ward Village, yes, it's right by Ala Moana Shopping Center. It's being um, evolving. <laughs> Basically, they got approved of um, this is Kakako too. So, it's Kaka so the master plan over 15 years has got approved, and basically they're gonna. This is this whole area is um, owned by the Howard Hughes Corporation. So this is a Howard Hughes project from beyond, from beyond the grave. There's about four buildings that are gonna start being built, towers they call them. So four towers are gonna go up and everything. There's the, 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 I was just thinking, there's a book sale over here. Biden slams the Supreme Court. Oh, he slammed them. I think he called them un kiltered <laughs> That's a Biden slam. Uh, the Supreme Court's a little un -kiltered. Oh, he slammed them. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh yeah, the eight soldiers. So they're trying to rescue people in Rafa or they're doing something. So eight soldiers got killed. So there was fighting. So they're doing ground fighting. And so eight soldiers of the IF something, the IFD from Israel, Israel Army. And so since they got killed, it's it's not. It's the best of Hey, Saints business. So that fighting's still going on. 90 countries attend the summit to push for peace for Ukraine. 90 countries attended this peace summit for Ukraine. Except, of course, China and Russia. <laughs> too busy doing cyber attacks, I think, in the background. And uh, they're, they're supporting each other. It's a big indication that China, I mean, it just shows. Rogue, rogue cannabis shops, because the cannabis shops are running around the streets of New York City, something like that. There's Kakako. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's this, there's this Obama mural. It's been up there for. It's, oh gosh, this with the high school with that guy. It's just, it's, I don't care if he's doing good. It or did good. It's just it creeps me out every time I come in. Creepy shit. But anyways, all these all these new towers are being built in Kakako, and that's where the book sale. There's a used book sale going on pretty soon. <laughs> Sorry. Scientists flip their view on fossil. Fuel. Oh my gosh, incredible. Oh. oh, oh. Oh, let me talk to some news here. Over the past 500 million years, vertebrates evolved into a staggering variety of all forms. Hummingbirds, blue, blue, blue. But beneath all the diversity, vertebrates have some key features. We all have a backbone, the evolution of the vertebrate column, 
or spine or backbone. Paleontologists look further back in time and the story gets confusing. It's like a menagerie of strange creatures with puzzling bodies and unfamiliar appendages. They just looked like freaky beasts, says Jacob, the paleontologist of the Bristol. <laughs> so they go and they find this, like, I think it's like a worm. This worm has what we thought was a vertebrate ancestor. It remains an enigma. It looks like a spinal column. It's not a worm. It has some type of spine. Worms don't have spines, right? So it has some type of thing that goes from, like, through it, where it's like, this could be the origin of the of the spinal column, so it has something to give a thing. But the thing goes through the worm's body, it's not a worm, it goes through its body and it extends outside its like, head, outside the animals. So it has a spinal cord that goes outside its head and above its head. It's kind of, it's into the chakra stuff, I don't know. Next, oh, oh no, oh. Oh, oh and in sports, um, there's golf, baseball, and more golf. Oh, this relaxing back in the day. Or what's going on here? Remember back in the day, 1987? You're just relaxed. You just go out there in the leotards and do some stretching. <laughs> what the heck? This is red, black, and white stripes stretch all over. The three members of the Renano Ro Ren Rena Robotic Rena Robics Rena Robics fourth place winner in the Amateur Athletic Union's Team Aerobic dance competition this is before they invented the play cats or maybe that's where they got cats from oh look i got an idea for a play broadway cats oh gosh and local news oh in the park oh i walked past this they weren't doing it it, it was the aids walking for aids <laughs> i didn't see the finish line i, I saw the start, start thing and there people are on booths solidarity, solidarity. <laughs> oh and this there's the a picture of not anymore. <laughs> the picture of the kind. Uh, big waves. That's what it was kind of like. You know, a little bit of splash. Oh, look. It's how swell. It <laughs> surfs up. Just stand there and get splashed. Just like Space Mountain. Fun in the sun. Beaches. Swimming. Castle. And what the heck is down there? It's like Puget Sound. We're exploring. I don't know what that is migrants no way in so yeah the big board this is gonna be one a giant issue look at all of them they're all criminals and they're out to get you i don't you know i think the major um solution here is fix mexico not the border <laughs> something's wrong with mexico if they're all just I mean, something's wrong with all those countries and they're coming to america it's like oh look let's say a pledge of allegiance i'm a citizen oh, and uh, okay we gotta do this uh finger on the pulse god just kidding Oh, no. Oh, look, political cartoon. There's Happy Father's Day. Dad, granddad, great granddad. A difficult, easier, easiest. Easiest to be a great granddad? I guess I just something about, I don't know. Y'all, Father's Day. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Find something to look at here. <laughs> I guess so. ACLU bars progress on homeless problem. I am curious as to where the ACLU stands on my constitutional rights as a taxpaying citizen who partially funds the thousands of city services the government provides while having to endure the indecencies of homeless camps blocking public sidewalks and other places. Not to mention threat of bodily harm and constant use of taxpayer resources to chase and clean up the disruption they create. We live in a society where there must be some order and rule, abiding and abetting homelessness communities under the guise of civil rights is what the ACLU is essentially doing. Taking anything out of context to support a narrative seems to be disingenuous. I am empathetic to the plight of the homeless, but the ACLU should use its educational savvy to find a solution instead of continually filing lawsuits and throwing up barriers to progress under the guise of civil rights. Cheryl Zarba Kailua talking in uncle voice. <laughs> Darth uncle. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, we, we value your input. Um, yeah, uh, uh, I don't know. 
Yeah, that they're not doing pretty right with this. <laughs> it's a huge thing. The homeless put these huge camps and they're just like making and they just infiltrate areas right next to neighborhoods too. And they go down the street. They like all their stuff and they're going down the street. It's like like and they'll park in your freaking uh backyard if you let them. I don't trust the homeless. I'm sorry. I know they have a terrible problems and the problems are not solved, but, um, you know, it's not the rights of the homeless people <laughs> encroaching. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a huge one. If they could fix that, and they're trying. But anyways, blah, blah, blah. It's Sunday. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Aloha. It's going to be a good day. It's uh, I'm for, I don't know, barbecue. What are we doing Father's Day now? I don't know. Oh, happy Father's Day, up in the sky, happy Father's Day.